NERT is the Neighborhood Emergency Response Team, and it's a training program that's built on personal preparedness, and then it's uh, relevant hands-on skills to be a responder in disaster. And the last component is the team component, how to work with your neighbors as a team that will participate in the fire department's response after a disaster. So during the course of NERT training, um, we really cover in depth what goes in your kit and why it's relevant and the type of supplies you'll need and what to expect in a disaster situation. And the disaster could be the big one, but it could be an extended power outage. It could be like the rock slide that we had in North Beach a bit ago where the people that were just in that small area were affected as if it were a big earthquake. The second thing that we talk about is utilities. Um, in a disaster such as an earthquake, there are going to be a lot of issues with uh, shutting off utilities knowing when and how to do that, so that's um, important. We also store a lot of hazardous materials in our own homes in terms of cleaning products and that sort of thing, so we talk about relevant hazardous materials that people will be exposed to. And we teach people about the danger of fire because if there are utilities problems with the natural gas, uh, fire can result from that. Using a fire extinguisher is one of the most important skills that people can have in advance. So we not only cover how to do it, but in the end, everybody gets a chance to actually put out a fire with a fire extinguisher. Uh, we talk a bit about disaster medicine. What if there are many, many injured people? And if you learn the skills of how to treat many injured people, it will help you if you come across the scene of a car accident or somebody in your home gets cut with a knife. So um, while it's not CPR, it's really geared toward emergency disaster fixes that you can do for people that are injured. We also go into how to rescue someone from under a heavy object. If there are only a couple of you there, there are some techniques that you can use that um, using leverage you can raise a heavy object and rescue somebody while you're waiting for emergency services to respond if they're overwhelmed. And then finally we cover the team aspect. It's really important as a group of people that wants to help that you're organized and there's a system for doing that and we teach that in the course. Our final course is all hands-on. It's hands-on for the medical triage, hands-on for the rescue skills, and like I mentioned earlier, it's using the fire extinguisher. Everybody will have an opportunity to do that. One of the really important things about having an emergency preparedness kit is so you'll have your stuff. I really recommend you put in stuff that, that you use and that you eat and that's relevant to you. Uh, even if you are reliant on a shelter, you'll want to bring a little something there that gives you the comfort of, you know, your, the things that are in your normal habits, that gives you the empowerment that you're going to be all right until uh, city services are kind of restored or alternate services can be put in place. So I, I think of it as, as uh, really just really taking care of yourself and having your stuff when you need it. I tend to be at work a lot and in my car. So I bought a suitcase luggage on wheels and I put my primary couple of days supplies in the trunk of my car so that I'll have them where I am when I need them. In talking about the preparedness and trying to be realistic about what I ask other people to do, I also prepared a home kit that I put in a clean brand new garbage bin on wheels so that I can roll it down the hill myself. Um, so I put uh, a bit more extensive things in terms of uh, changes of clothes and warm blankets uh, because I had the room to do so. And you need to be able to move your kit yourself, so I just made sure that I could people move my own kit from my house. There are a lot of sources um, on the web that will help you find out what to do. Um, you can start with our website, it's sfgov.org slash sfnert, um, but we're not the only source. There is a 72hours.org website, the Red Cross has a kit. Uh, I recommend that instead of downloading everything and then getting overwhelmed, that you just pick one and just start working it. Do a little bit at a time. And so um, any Google search of emergency preparedness supplies will get you to, to the end, which is actually completing the task of putting some supplies together. The more people you tell, you will find the people that naturally gravitate toward this type of training and want to work with the fire department and especially want to be, uh, make a difference in their community after a disaster. Mm -hmm.